Hey friend, in this video, we're gonna talk about the best way to get better at art without practicing. So that is probably a startling title uh, to some of you. And of course, practice is absolutely imperative and necessary in order to grow and continue to advance in your skills as an artist. But one of the things that I've been researching for years, flow state is I think one of the most crucial and important things I don't know if it's second to practice or if it's tandem with practice because it's right up there with practicing and developing those motor skills to growing as an artist and to developing your style, feeling more original, more confident, um, diminishing or helping to minimize those voices in your head as an artist, especially in the beginner stages of imposter syndrome and perfectionism and all of those kind of negative core beliefs that hold us in and don't allow us to really fully lean into the creative potential that we all have. And we're all creators, we're all made to be creative. We all have both a left and a right side of our brain. We all have the potential to create from this place of uh, alignment and feeling really connected and cr fully creative. But because a lot of us don't focus on the discipline of creativity or you know we have a day job that doesn't really have any of that creative aspect or whatever, or we just don't pay attention to the importance of having creati creativity in our lives, um, then I hear a lot of times in my in-person workshops or even on comments on YouTube or Instagram of people like, I'm just not creative or I can barely draw a stick figure. But just like going to the gym and building muscle takes practice and going to the gym and physically doing things or working out at home or whatever, it's the same as art, it's the same as creativity. If you wanna get better at creativity, you actually have to show up and you actually have to practice. So obviously practice is extremely important, but something that I have found in when people feel really creatively stuck, which happens, you know, to beginners, to intermediate artists, to advanced level artists or professional artists, doesn't matter how what level of the game you're in, a lot of creative blocks will come up at any stage of the game. And one of the biggest things, I think the most important thing is the the lack of flow state and the lack of tuning into flow state when you are being creative is the number one driver, I think, of people feeling stuck, people feeling creatively blocked. So flow state, what is flow state? Flow state is literally exactly how it sounds. It feels flowy when you're in this place. Like I said earlier, your brain is producing wavelengths that are in the theta range or alpha range. So you're in this kind of really deep, relaxed state, almost like time stops, or you don't have a really awareness of time. Your negative mind chatter or mind chatter in general usually turns off or at least dims and you're able to paint or create from this place of intuition and you're not really second guessing yourself or coming up with these like little nagging inner voices that are like perfectionism or you're not good enough or should you really be doing this? And it's something that um, Friedrich Nietzsche talked about a lot and Hungarian psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi was kind of like the modern day pioneer of flow state. He actually has a beautiful TED talk on flow state that is awesome. We'll link to it in this video. Um, but he kind of pioneered this idea of flow state and the key to happiness. Uh, flow state being that what I was just describing, that deep kind of flowy, effortless effort that happens when you're painting, when you're playing piano, when you can be even an athlete and enter into flow state. It's when you're able to access your optimal motor skills, your optimal abilities, without you trying too hard. So flow state is something that is absolutely crucial. I write about it a ton. There's over 70 lessons in my course, The Art Within, that cover flow state and how to get into flow state more easily, more accessibly, and how to develop foundational motor skills and muscles within each of your fingers and hands that will help you drop into flow state as an artist. And so I cover that in my course, The Art Within. But flow state is to me something that is absolutely imperative for taking you from any level to the next level up. So if you're like, I've been practicing, I've been devouring all these watercolor books, all the tutorials, and it just doesn't seem to budge, I feel stuck. This is probably the answer that you need is dropping into flow state. So how do we drop into flow state? There are so many different ways you can drop into flow state. One of my favorite ways to just kick it off, easiest favorite ways, you can literally do it anywhere, is one of the things that I've coined the flow state drawing exercise. So I cover this a lot in 30 different days worth of flow state drawing exercises inside my course, but a simple way to just get started with it is open up a moleskin journal or any journal or peep, piece, peep piece of paper that you have and grab either a pencil or a pen and you're just gonna literally draw 
tiny circles over and over and over again, all over your sheet of paper, or maybe just the top section of paper. And then you're gonna drop into an automatic writing exercise. You've probably heard of this before. Um, it's just a flow of words. So whatever comes to mind, you're not thinking about it, you're not judging it, you're just writing it down and letting it flow. And you're not, sometimes it just sounds like gibberish, it doesn't make any sense. And then other times you're like, whoa, maybe I should look into that. Like some, some stuff really comes to the surface that maybe you were, keeping in your subconscious or you weren't really thinking was a big deal, but it, but it is, it just kind of comes out. So it's not journaling. Journaling, I've never connected with journaling. It works for a lot of people, but for me, it just felt forced. But the flow state drawing exercise, exercise that turns into the automatic writing exercise um, is a really helpful, just like it takes a couple minutes. You can go for longer if you want to, but it just is really, it helps you drop into flow state and helps you kind of come up with things that maybe you should look into that are kind of stuck deep within you that affect your creativity, affect your life, affect your relationships, etc. Another great way to develop the skill of dropping into flow state is through meditation. So I used to think like a few years ago before I started regularly practicing meditation, I was like, meditation is not for me. It is boring. I have ADD. There's no way I can sit there for 20 minutes or 10 minutes even. Uh, without any thoughts. And that's not the point of meditation. The point of meditation is to not completely get rid of all of your thoughts. The point is to be more present and more aware of uh, if a thought enters. Ram Das has this beautiful quote that we'll try to link to if I can remember where it's from, but basically picture like you're sitting by a creek bed or a river bed or something, and you're looking at this river and it's continuously flowing, obviously, and then a leaf happens to flow by. And maybe your eye catches the attention or your eyes are caught by this leaf and it tracks and follows it down, but it only follows through your line of vision. You're not gonna follow that leaf then all the way down the mountain or all the way down the hill or whatever. That's the same thing with your thoughts. When your thoughts appear when you're in a deep meditation or trying to get started with meditation, thought appears, it goes in one area of your brain and out the area of your brain. You're not focusing on it. And this is gonna help you in your entire life, but especially in your creative practice of if a negative thought appears, you're not gonna to attach to it and follow it all the way down the mountain and it continues to ruin your painting experience or ruin the painting in general. You're just gonna let it pass and let it kind of roll off your back like water. So meditation is an amazing practice to engage in on a regular basis. I meditate every single day. I love the meditation practice by the Breathing Room app. Um, it's an amazing app and they have a great book called The Four Sacred Secrets. Um, but the, uh, the app has a specific meditation that I do every single day called Soul Sync. And then I have tons of meditations that I'm recording for visualization to expand your visualization and imagination, um, color, and also for um, kind of feeling in sync inside of your body so that you can create art from a within place inside of my course, The Art Within. So we have tons of recorded meditations and my friend who is an expert on meditation, her name is Jessica Stone. She's gonna be doing a guided meditation as well and a deep dive on what is meditation. There's a whole science behind it that is so uh, well documented in how it will help you drop into flow state and achieve flow state um, in your creative practice in whatever that looks like. So another one of my favorite ways to get better at art without practicing is through just making sure you have a, the environment right. You wanna minimize your distractions because dropping into flow state, one of the most important key ingredients is that your ability to focus is really deep. So a deep focus is really imperative. So you wanna minimize distractions. That means for me at least, that means having a clear workspace, not a lot of clutter, a really good vibey playlist. If I wanna get deep into flow state, I have a flow playlist that's basically like a lot of sound waves and theta waves and kind of like bowls and stuff that will help produce more of that deep focus and that deep flow um, in the zone feeling. And I also have a painting playlist that's a little bit more upbeat and vibey and playful. Um, if I'm not wanting to get too deep into theta waves, maybe stay a little bit in the alpha zone. Uh, where we're still a little bit more attentive. Theta is like really deep and you're super in the zone. I don't know if you've seen the Pixar movie, Soul. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, it's so good. Uh, but there's this moment where he's trying out for the main characters, trying out to perform in a jazz band for a concert or a show or whatever. And he's a very talented pianist. And he just is, during his tryout, he starts just jamming out, you know, it's jazz. So you just kind of get funky fresh. And he, he just like, they, he loses all awareness of where he is and everybody kind of stops playing and they're looking at him and he's just jamming hard and in the zone. That's what flow state is, like a really deep flow state. So a lot of, a lot of st stuff goes on when you're in flow state that you're also able to just 
achieve and create from this optimal level and you're not trying too hard, it's pretty cool. So making sure that you have minimal distractions, the environment is clean, or maybe you, you know, I don't know what people do anymore, but light Palo Santo or something, or a candle or whatever you wanna do, whatever feels right for you in your practice. I like to meditate before my practice to also clear the environment in my mind, clear the environment in my physical realm, internal realm, and get more centered so that I can come from a place of like, ah, I just made all the kids lunches and I have one kid, but you know, whatever. And just running around and sweaty and the desk is a mess. That's just gonna automatically set me up for not being in, in that zone or that place where I can create my best work. So to recap, the best ways to get better at art without practice, flow state uh, drawing exercise, AKA flow state writing exercise. Love that. We have a ton of examples in the course. Second, meditation, clearing up your internal space before you're painting so you can drop into that deep focus, alignment and creating your best work. And then thirdly, making sure that you have minimized distractions and a beautiful atmosphere or environment, a cleaned up environment, external environment and internal environment will help you really drop into that flow state, that deep um, focus. And this might sound to some of you who have maybe never experienced flow state, a little bit woo, a little bit new age, we cover a lot of the science in depth in my course um, because there's a lot of doctors that I've had come on, neuroscientists and doctors, experts on flow state for interview lessons, but it really, I'm, I'm dead serious. Flow state, you create from this optimal motor skills and effortless effort place. It helps you in your brain, there's certain centers in your brain that are active when you're in deep flow state and that is learning long-term memory. So if you're really wanting to attach to something that you're trying to learn, you got to drop into flow state because it's going to activate your learning and memory centers that are going to help you attach to that new skill or attach to that thing that you're trying to learn and keep it for the long term. If you really want to dive deep into it and know how to get into flow state on a regular basis and really access that beautiful place, then check out my course, The Art Within, generani.com forward slash the dash art dash within to check it out. But again, practice these three things and you'll be on your way to dropping into flow state and creating your best work. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, for liking and engaging with our content. It means the world to me. Yeah, it means the world to me. Um, and if you've ever accessed flow state or maybe you've never accessed flow state, let me know in the comments below if you struggle with this or if you get there regularly or if you have questions about it, um, I've been researching this for many years, like I said, and it's something that I've poured my heart and soul into in this course. Make sure you check it out. Um, and if you want to just continue your watercolor journey, learning things from me on this channel, go to the Complete Beginner's Guide to Watercolor. It's basically a two hour deep dive watercolor class for free on all the techniques and everything you need to know about watercolor in that video. And then I have my online art school or art community um, on Patreon. So generani.com forward slash Patreon. I'm uploading two exclusive tutorials every month there, along with a live monthly art, art class and a live monthly Q and A on there. So check that out as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.